is Rick Orlando. I'm chef at New World Home Cooking up in Woodstock. This is what I do. I started working in restaurants when I was 16, uh, washing dishes, busting tables, whatever it took to kind of have a day job so I could have my night gig playing music. One of these days, I'd be the baddest front man in show business. And then we had a kid. My wife said, get a job, get a job. Well, I started working seriously. And then about my late 20s, it really came together. I began to understand that I love being in the restaurant. I love being in the kitchen. But I also love the sourcing. I love the farms. And um, when the food revolution really began, organic was the catchword. And I was on board with that, except that I was always concerned about whether something is grown organically or not, where is it coming from, who's behind it. And that's not saying organic's bad, because organic is definitely better than non-organic, but local is better than organic, and local organic is better than all of them. Okay, man, this is global flavor local pride. This is Italy meets the local hippie forager risotto. So I've got my beautiful ramps, and I just want to rough chop them a little bit, because they're going to get sauteed first. Okay, once those are chopped, we just want to inspect our fiddleheads, take off any dirty root ends, and have them ready to go right into the pot. While you weren't looking, I made some beautiful ramp walnut pesto. We got some parma, some olive oil, and some white wine, and a boreal rice. We're ready to cook. Are you ready? I think eating locally is, is, a, is a statement, and it's saying no to corporate food. That's what it's all about. I mean, people are frustrated because there's so much crap out there and so much of the food is processed and buying locally, you're making your own statement. As a chef, for me, local food means I know where it came from, I can stand behind it. And that's the thing, you wanna stand behind your food. Well, what does that mean? Standing behind your food means you can back up the talk. You know, you wanna to talk to talk, you gotta to walk to walk. Buying local food is walking the walk. I've always had a love for global food. I call it global flavor and local pride. I bring in local ingredients, I cook them in a global manner. I feel as though global food is a bridge for everybody to understand more about the world, and local food is a bridge to know more about yourself and your own area. So for me, the best thing to do is to combine the two. I also hate boring food. I hate boring food. Often, someone will buy local food and say, you know, I just want to represent it just as it is and do very little to it. And I do that sometimes, but I like to transform things. And that's what I do with food. And to me, there's nothing more exciting than a really good, like, Korean jjigae or a really good jerk chicken or an awesome tamale. I mean, yeah, mac and cheese is good. Never got on the mac and cheese bandwagon, man. I'd rather make, like, you know, a really good sopa because that, to me, is food that rocks. It's got flavors, textures, aromas. It shakes your body. So if you can take local food and put those ingredients into recipes that make people go, wow, when they eat it, or as opposed to, this is what I expected, that's what I'm all about. And that's the way I like to cook. That's how I teach all my cooks to cook. Never shortchange yourself, never shortchange your guests. Rock them, kick their ass, man, kick their ass.